Bottom line is, it's a really useful product for people that want to eliminate nitrates in their aquariums in, be in between their water changes or after water changes if the nitrates are still high, you can use something like this to remove the excess nitrates. But it is not a supplement to water changing. You still have to do water changes every so often to remove your accumulated uh, trace elements and phosphates and other garbage that could be in your water that is detrimental to your fish in higher concentrations. So that's the bottom line of the video, I believe, and I uh, hope you guys find value in this content, and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up, and uh, also comment below and let me know what your thoughts are, if you want me to clarify anything or make a following video about the product or, you know, things that I might have missed in this video. Produced by Malik. What is going on fish world? Welcome back to Aqua Malik. In today's video, we'll be looking at nitrate removing resin or anionic resin. Now, this stuff is essentially a chemical that absorbs nitrates by ion exchange. So it takes up the nitrates. Now, a lot of people do not have any idea about this stuff. Even with me, I only learned about this particular material about two, three, two and a half years ago when I first started trying to breed uh, my Playcos and a lot of the big time Playco breeders were using this stuff uh, specifically one of the bigger Playco breeders here in Canada uh, was using it to breed Zebra Playcos and he was getting quite a lot of success with it and what he said was you put the resin in and the fish breed the next day and this is quite true actually with this product and uh, how, how it works is basically your tank has a specific chemical balance and this has to be a balanced aquarium for, for, for it to begin with and it has to have good parameters overall. Now let's say your pH is perfect and your temperature is perfect, there's no uh, phosphates in the tank, there's a little bit of nitrates in the tank and uh, you put the resin in, it takes out all the nitrates within 24 hours and in turn the tank water becomes really clear and really clean uh, it actually can remove tannins as well, so you can probably see that this tank is pretty much looking really nice right now, even though I have a bunch of oak leaves. That's because the resin is removing all the tannins as well as all the nitrates. In, so by doing that, the water becomes to a point where the fish feel like the water is perfect for them to reproduce. And uh, so that's the trigger, essentially. And uh, it's not an end-all or be-all, so that's the one thing I want to say right here is that Using nitrate resins does not mean your fish will breed and you do not need to use nitrate resins for your fish to breed. The tank below me here actually has a trapping right now and all I did was do 80% uh, water change and fill it back with aged tap water and uh, in turn my fish started breeding in that tank is my L199 Hypancestus Ferunculus. These guys usually do the same thing as soon as I do a water change in here. They usually start breeding but today they're actually sitting around. So probably by tomorrow I'm expecting these guys to start spawning because I did the water changes yesterday. Now uh, I am using the resin just in turn uh, through my all my tanks. It's I don't have a lot of bags of resin. I got a few different brands of it. There's one that uh, there's a brand that uh, sells this product, uh, Aquarium Company, and uh, so I have that particular brand and I have that in my Zebra Playco tank, and it works really well really happy with the results and if you guys follow my regular live streams on Fridays and Sundays you probably noticed the the tank that had the resin in before my L333 tank the plants were basically suffering to the point they were they were dying and then I removed the resin and a week later the plants are doing great now and uh, you can actually see a lot of new green growth and stuff and uh, that's because the resin basically strips the water out, out of all the nitrates now there are other types of resins that you can use as well. There are phosphate resins. Uh, there are resins that soften your water. Um, all these stuff can be purchased through a water company. Uh, you can also buy this product on eBay. I actually bought this particular one on eBay and there is a company in the United Kingdom called Countryside Aquatics and they also sell uh, nitrate removing resin as well as water softening resin that you can purchase. And uh, I actually was supposed to purchase a bunch from Countryside Aquatics. I'm 
Uh, they actually sent me a free sample. I just haven't received it yet. I think it got lost in the mail because uh, it was a few months back and uh, they sent it like, and uh, it's been almost three months now. So I'm kind of gonna contact them again and purchase a whole bunch more for the rest of my tanks. But the reality is because my tanks are planted, I don't really need to use this product that often. And I do a lot of water changes as well. But for example, I have my L134 tank where the fish are spawning and the nitrates are a little too elevated and I haven't been able to do a water change in there now since they started spawning. And uh, I do want to remove a lot of the nitrates out of the tank. So in turn, I'm using this resin in that tank probably starting tomorrow and i uh, going to reduce uh, some of the nitrates out of the tank and uh, hopefully that should help with some more spawning in the tank and uh, more fry and more success and stuff. Now, um, this is not a supplement to water changes. Your water has other things aside from nitrates. Phos phosphates are also another crucial element that does accumulate, in, especially in high protein diet tanks, like tanks that you have fish that require high protein food you're definitely adding a decent amount of phosphates and other um, chemicals and other elements into the water. So you definitely have to remove this stuff through water changes. So having nitrate removing resin does not mean that we get to not do water changes. It's a common misconception that people believe that when somebody uses nitrate removing resin, it's because they're lazy. It's not because the person is lazy. If you're a lazy fish keeper, then chances are a lot of your fish would probably not end up spawning and uh, doing so well over over a long period of time you might get the occasional accidental spawn here and there but to have consistent success you have to pretty much maintain your aquariums to a top level and uh, so having nitrate resin does not mean you become a lazy fish keeper you definitely do not i have nitrate resins in a few of my tanks right now and i'm still doing more water changes as i did before i'm actually doing more water changes now because it's summertime and uh, my fish are eating more and stuff like that in turn, I had to take out a lot of the stuff I put into the fish tank in the form of fish food. So uh, this is an essential thing, water changes, you cannot avoid it if you are going to keep fish. Uh, one of the main things is having to do the occasional water change, even if you have a tank that is really understocked and extremely heavily planted and a very balanced system, the water will eventually start evaporating and you would have to refill some of that water. You would have to remove some of the hardness that accumulates over time. You would have to replenish some of the calcium hardness that the plants take out and stuff. You would have to replace some of the general hardness that the plants might take out. So water changes are a must in every system. But having the option to use things that can reduce your workload or eliminate some of the excess nitrates that water changes alone cannot remove. And for example, the people that have nitrates in their actual tap water. This is a common problem for a lot of people. If you live in certain areas and stuff, your tap water could have a decent amount of nitrates. So like to remove that, you might have to use some of this uh, resin in your actual water, water systems where you can actually use it in a pre-filter or something like that and uh, have the water go through the pre-filter before you use it in your aquariums. So these are different options and uh, there is no one particular brand you should buy. They all work the exact same way. Uh, the, the, the brand API has a brand Nitrosorb. I bought it. It works really well. It does remove ammonia as well as nitrates and uh, I noticed that my plants really suffered when I used that product. Uh, same with this one here. Um, I've only had this in here for like a day and I'm only keeping it in here for another day. So this bag of nitrate resins gets moved around through all my aquariums and uh, I basically regenerate it I haven't had to regenerate any of them. I've had them, uh, this one is new, but I've had the other bags in my fish room for a few months now. And they're all still good and like they get brownish tan colored when the, the nitrates get accumulated in it. And uh, at that point you have to put it in a saline solution and uh, you have to regenerate it. So if you guys are interested, I can actually make a separate video about how I regenerate them when the time arises, uh, arrives. But for now, I haven't had to regenerate them. So like it's not, if you have high nitrates, I'm pretty sure it, that it will accumulate over a longer or a faster time period. But if your tanks are like balanced like mine and you, you know, you do your regular water changes and you're not overstocked uh, to, you know, like, I mean, this tank is a little bit overstocked, but generally my tanks are not overstocked to even to this level. So um, I feel that's one of the main reasons why it's not getting used up so quickly. and. Uh, but then when it does get used up, I just have regenerated using uh, salt 
so com common aquarium salt or uh, sea salt and uh, leave it for 24 hours and then rinse it out and then use it back again so a few of these bags should last uh, uh, a person that has a decent sized fish room uh, indefinitely you know for five ten years at least and uh, the, the nitrate resins doesn't seem to de de degrade over time uh, that's one of the things uh, one of my, a few of my friends that use it have uh, reported back to me and uh, so that's what I have to say about it and uh, yeah aside from that it's a great product then make sure you wash it really well before you use it in your tank. Uh, it's recommended to wash it for 24 hours. I usually open a tap and put a little container, like have a little drip, not a drip, but like a decent amount of, small amount of water dripping through it and uh, a constant drip. And uh, I have it sit there for 24 hours and then after that I just rinse it out and uh, wash it a couple of times. I test it in one of my tanks that I have a few fish in just because I don't want to have an issue. But I haven't have seen to have any problems thus far. Uh, I've tried a few different brands now. I'm really excited to get some stuff from Countrywide, uh, or Countryside Aquatics in the UK, just so that I can test it compared to the stuff I got from the water company. But uh, this stuff works really well for me. So that's what I have to say about it. And I hope you guys find value, and I hope you guys also try some of these really cool products to reduce your workload and also to help you with your breeding projects and so on and so forth. So bottom line is, it's a really useful product for people that want to eliminate nitrates in their aquariums in, in between their water changes or after water changes if the nitrates are still high, you can use something like this to remove the excess nitrates. But it is not a supplement to water changing, you still have to you do water changes every so often to remove your accumulated uh, trace elements and phosphates and other garbage that could be in your water that is detrimental to your fish in higher concentrations. So that's the bottom line of the video I believe and I uh, hope you guys find value in this content and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, also comment below and let me know what your thoughts are if you want me to clarify anything or to make a following video about the product or you know things that I might have missed in this video and uh, also if you are finding value in this type of content and you are a regular subscriber please share this with your networks I would love for you guys to share my videos on Facebook and other social media networks and that would really help me out as well so thank you so much for your love and support thus far I'll see you on the next video God bless you all Produced, Produced by Malik. By Malik.